from the trial balance to the balance sheet. We are reaching the final step of the beginning of accounting. We prepared the trial balance and adjusted it. This is the adjusted trial balance. And from it, we extracted all the so-called revenue accounts and prepared with the revenue accounts the income statement, which is essentially sales minus cost and which yields a profit or a loss. Sales of 7,000, the cost of goods sold, so we saw how we computed them, and the various other charges of the accounting period, including amortization and provision. Now, in the adjusted trial balance, we replace all the revenue accounts that form the IS we just saw by just one line, the bottom line of the IS. There is the new adjusted trial balance. No more revenue accounts in there. They are all gone into the income statement and they have been replaced by just one line, the bottom line of the income statement. And this is the balance sheet, just to be rearranged. It is customary to present the balance sheet listing first of all all the assets, that is what the firm owns, and then all the liabilities. So here we have the machinery and the van corrected for the value they lost during the accounting period called amortization. We have the closing stocks that are things that the firm owns. We have data paper, etc. We have money at the bank, cash, and we saw the prepayment. And all these are liabilities. The capital somehow is something due to the owners. The net profit or loss belongs to the liabilities because think that it, it were a profit, it would be something belonging to the owners. Here it happens to be a loss. And the other things are liabilities. We, say, we shall say a little more about the net profit later on. And usually this balance sheet, instead of being presented like, uh, like this, is presented in two pages. One page is specifically the assets, which is so, and the other page is the liabilities that we just saw as well. But this is really one document. It could be one page instead of two. The income statement and balance sheet at the end of an accounting period are part, as we saw, of the various management information systems, MIS, to run the firm. The, here is the income statement and the balance sheet. They may be seen as the two most fundamental ones. In our example, which does not pretend to illustrate good management, the first accounting cycle ends up with a loss, though this is customary, because the first year we need to tune the operations and then we need to grow them. Accounting provides a dashboard of the firm, just like for a car, it provides a set of pieces of information about the firm. The IS shows sales, costs, and profit or loss, and the balance sheet shows what the firm owns, the assets, and what the firm owes, the liabilities. So a word on this liability side again of the balance sheet. The long-term loan is clearly a liability. The IOUs to suppliers are clearly liabilities. The capital, I repeat, can be viewed as some sort of a liability to the owners. It records receipts given to the owner for this initial money that was put at first into cash. And the PL, here it is a loss, but think that it were uh, in credit that it would be a profit. Well, this profit increases what belongs to the owner, and here as a loss, it decreases what belongs to the owner. That's why the profit or loss appears in the liability side. Since we said that the, uh, the accounting is a dashboard of the firm, we can also see right away what would be the impact of higher sales on the IS and BS. Suppose that we had managed to sell all our products at 130 euros a piece instead of 100 euros. Our sales were 7,000. If we managed to sell everything at 130, it, the sales would be 9,100. And suppose it would be with the same goods and the same other expenditures. In that case, 
now instead of a loss we would turn a profit which would be 130 uh, euros it happens to be the, the value of one uh, goods but that doesn't matter so this would be the impact on the income statement and there would be also an impact on the balance sheet suppose that this extra money 2100 euros was entirely in client credit then it would appear here it was 500 now it's 2600 everything else is the same and on the liability side the profit instead of being a loss in debit now is 113 credit it is actually a profit so this is the impact on the income statement of just one change uh, in the accounting a few last words in conclusion about uh, income statements and balance sheets and running a firm managing a firm is just a long sequence of decisions to allocate resources that's a very important idea essentially what managers do is they make choices of where to allocate the resources they have money resources and work resources so uh, in some respects managing a firm is a long sequence of choices of course the human aspect is fundamental first of all the management of the employees the so-called human resources activity and also the relationships with clients suppliers banker or bankers various other lenders and the authorities but aside from that it is as i said a, a series of choices about all sorts of things about which product to make about the technology in the products as well as the technology to to manufacture them so product technology production technology choices about the markets choices about prices choices about clients about the level of advertising and various other marketing expenditures and many more and it's great fun <laughs>